Hi, and welcome to another Type With Me. In this video, I'm gonna talk about TS.ED. So TS.ED is a framework for Node.js and TypeScript, right? So I'm going to uh, make it a little bit bigger, right? So it's a Node.js framework on top of Express Core.js. It's written in TypeScript and it helps you build your server-side application easily and quickly. If you want to start, well, you can very easily do so, and I will guide you through that. So now I'm going to install globally uh, the TSED um, CLI tools to see how they work. Right? And then we're going to create a TSID project with a controller and with some basic logic just to show you how easy it is to use this fantastic tool within TypeScript. Right. So now that we have installed TSED as a global within NPM, right, we can just do TSED in it and then we get the CLI of TSED. There we can choose a platform and we can choose Express.js or we can choose Coan.js. So I, I choose Coan.js. Right. There we go. And then I want to I wanna choose Angular because I'm an Angular developer as well. And I want to see how they have styled the convention file styling according to Angular. So if you are already familiar with that, that's great, right? It helps our learning process. For the moment, I just want to use the basics of this framework just to show it to you, to do some tweaks and to see how we can set this up. Uh, probably right um, I'm gonna use yarn I'm a fan of yarn and now he's installing everything for me you will see that it takes a little bit of time but it's okay that's uh, always with these kind of tools if you go to this CLI you can also when you choose for example database you can choose uh, ORM uh, I choose type ORM because that has the most options to choose from, but you can have also other options, right? So um, in that regard, I think that's just fine. Now he has installed everything. Right, and now we're gonna look how these files look like. So we have here, for example, a Docker file, which is great. We can uh, Dockerize it, right? And we have here an index.ts and a server.ts. So on that index.ts, you see here the platform Koa, and some chiseling to bootstrap, right? And then we have our server here. And also there we have some options to use a logger, for example, to use some configuration and so on. Server with a platform application configuration with settings of our configuration. And then we have also other things like course, compress, method override and body parser. Right. So that's it. Of course, you have your controller. It's a Hello World controller. And yeah, it's quite easy. You have here add controller, then your class, you have a get, but you can also have add put or add post or add all these rest methods, right? So that's something that's easily done. If I do just here a new file and I say uh, type with me uh, dot controller dot ts, I have my own controller, right? I'm just gonna copy paste this, put it here, 
here we're gonna use type with me and I'm gonna return something like um, tutorials And so we can have another method here, right? Something like um, hello. And then we can have something like return. And then I want to have this, right? Just. And then you will see that we will have here at get. Hello, hello, slash, and then I want to have something like this. I think I also have to do something like this slash here, and then I need to have my ID there, right? And that's very easily done by just having a path parameter. And here, do add path parameter, right? We, we have we have chosen for the uh, angular uh, file type notation and what it is i think it's it's mainly like that it puts hello dash world dot controller dot ts right and you'll see that i think it is here we have something like mount yeah here rest rest and then here we have root dir controllers and then you can mount every controller that you put right in this folder uh, through this uh, thing right um, but you can just create something else as well it makes it easier to have some kind of versioning uh, controller list uh, to that as well so if you say yeah i want to have for example a rest api with version one uh, and then you can do something like this and then just put a folder here and put all your controllers of version one there so a lot of flexibility and possibilities are uh, there right great so if i just want to start this it's always easy go to package.json and then look that up and see how you can run uh, your application right so we are almost there with our rest api I'm going to just start it and I know I know that it's very basic that I did but you see here that it really points out what it is right so here you have your endpoints and here you have your class methods and that's something that I really love if you have a lot of rest APIs you can just see it right here when you do your start and get a great overview of that you saw also in the CLI that we could choose for Swagger, for example. These things come also out of the box when you use TSED. You just need to um, check it out when you go to, uh, through the CLI. There are plugins for that that are being installed within uh, the TSID framework. It's something that maybe in the future I will look into a little bit further to use it at my own job. but yeah we'll see um i think it's 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 a great it's a great thing for the moment they are using uh, c sharp dot uh, net framework uh, for that but yeah maybe for smaller kind of projects it's it's nice to have something like this right now we have rest type void me and you see here that we have tutorial right if i go a little bit further and i do hello slash one for example yeah we get also our page but of course we need to return something back so i'm gonna program that all in a little bit and then we go back to this page i'm just gonna rename this to name for example hello name hello name and also here i want to have hello name and then here i want to do something like hello door name for example so 
And that's something that we have right now. And then when we go back to, and, and that's also something that you have, right? It's hot reloading. So when you change something to your TypeScript file, it will hot reload right here. So now when I run it, you see here, hello one. But I can also say, hello, Joris, because that's my name. So it will say, hello, Joris. I know it's very simple, it's very easy, but just to show you a little bit that what the possibilities are of this great framework, uh, just play around with it, try things out. I think it will just be fine. Uh, we have already uh, created videos around Nest.js. Well, I think uh, Nest.js has more alignment with Angular that I see right into this framework, right? But it has a lot of great uh, interruptibilities with Express.js and with Coan.js. Uh, you have a lot of easy to follow structures that you are used to within other programming languages like .NET and like uh, Java, uh, Spring MVC, for example. So in, the, in that regard, it's also a very great framework to go over. It has great plugins for type ORM to use a database like uh, my MySQL database, MariaDB database, or MongoDB database. So definitely take a look into that as well. I hope you enjoyed it. This is just a summary and introduction of this framework. Um, and I see you next time.